guys. Thanks for joining me on uh, this bank holiday weekend. The uh, weather's absolutely fantastic. It, um, it really is. It's uh, nice and uh, nice and sunny, nice and warm. Hence, I'm only out in a t-shirt today. Anyway, um, the reason I've come out is I want to um, show you my um, kind of upgrade, well would you call it an upgrade or not, I don't know, um, but anyway, it's, it's a progression of me, uh, my emergency cook kit that, uh, that I did um, all that months ago. So I'll get it out of my, uh, get it out of my bag and uh, alter the camera so you can see it and uh, we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for, thanks for staying with me. Okay, so the upgrade to me, um, the emergency brew kit, it's, uh, it's not a Max Bershon pouch, it's um, a copy um, off eBay. I think it was about six quid. Um, it's not bad. <coughs> and uh, I think this, I've put the lanyard on it. I've put the Cobra Weird lanyard on it. And uh, I don't think it's too bad. It's a bit heavy, but that's because it's got water in it. Um, but if you're going for a, like just out for a, a day hike, and you just want to take something to make a brew, this is what it is. So I'll bring the camera in closer and, um, and, I, and pan it down so you can see what I'm getting out. So stay with me, and I'll be back again in a moment. Okay, here we go. First off, there's this. But I'll explain more about this in a moment. This is what I've been working on. I've got my um, stainless steel water bottle with cover that I made. Um, it's the Highlander, I think they call, they call it the Rana. Or Rainer, Rana, I think it is. I mean, to tonk a mug. And then this bit in the bottom, I'm not sure on at the moment. But it's, it's a lid that I've made out of an old, small aluminium um, cup or bowl because. I haven't been able to find any lids that fit the Tatonka mug to cut down on boiling time. In, in this small zip pouch, I've got the small folding cup and then brew kit, spoon, and the, the hexi tabs that I'm going to use with this one. And these ones. They're round. They're not your traditional square ones. See? A bit like large extra strong mint. <laughs> now I'm hoping three of these will boil enough water for me to have a brew. Anyway, let's get back to this bit. This is a stainless steel pot and it was um, is it chafing gel? You know the things that you put under like plates to keep them warm in, in like restaurants. But it was one of them. It had a bit of a handle on it. There, which I've just snapped the handle off. And on the top it used to have a like a simmering bit that used to sweep across it. Well I've took that off, drilled some holes in the top here and in the sides, and it seems to work. But We'll get it sorted out, we'll get it set up, and get it going, and uh, we'll get a brew on, and then you can see it in action. I've no idea how long this will take to boil it. I've done a bit of... It's 
think that's about a quarter of a litre. I'll just put it in there, look. I don't know if you can see it. That's about a quarter of a litre. Three of them in. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah. Get the lighter out of my pocket. Try and get one of these lit. That's going slowly. Hopefully you can see that. Let's just spin this round a bit. If I can. Where's my knob? There it is. Focus on that a bit more. There we go. Right, that's going. Put that on. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. While we let that while I let this boil, I'll show you some of the other stuff that I've brought out for me to show you. Um I don't know whether you remember, I think that's actually gone in. No, it hasn't. It's still going. Um back in my April camp, I think it was. I told you that I'd done a. I was doing a um, sheath for my backhoe Laplander. Well, I've now got it finished. Hopefully, you'll be able to see that. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. Lovely. On a, on a dangler. Pulls out nice. Try and get it in the sun so you can see it a bit better. Hand stitched. And it's been dyed a mahogany. A mahogany um, colour. I'm quite, quite impressed with that. And if you remember as well, I said I was doing my, uh, doing one for my axe as well. Where's my axe sheath? Try and get the sun, try and get the sun on that if I can. And the, it's um, riveted on the back, and wraps around. There's still bit of movement on it which I'm not 100% happy with so I may end up making another one but I'll just undo the Sam Brown and take it off flick it back on again wrap the handle round I just thought I'd show you that let's have a look what's going on here That's that guy's anyway. I'll cut back in a few minutes when it's... Anyway, um, I've hit 55 subs now. Absolutely fantastic. That's great. Thank you very much. Um, so I'm starting to get the old uh, cogs going now. 
and I'm going to uh, try and sync up some sort of competition for when I hit 100. Um, no idea is yet what it will be um, or what the prizes will be. I shall, I'll have to have a, have a start thinking about that. But uh, I'd like to thank every single one of you for your support and following it. Um, I know it's probably not um, probably not the best the best channel um, on YouTube, but you know. Without people's support and comments, etc., you know, people can't get better. I can't get better at doing things, and I've decided I'm going to. I am going to start trying to get out more, um, even if it's just like like for today, just for a wander up the local woods, um, and uh, and that kind of thing. But uh, like like I say again, thanks very much for your support. Um, I am out next weekend with Mark again um, for another night night out. Um, what we'll get up to, I've, I've got no idea. Um, but I'm probably going to be using my DD hammocks, frontline hammock, um, for this one because um, I've not used that for a while. But, uh, anyway, let's look at this water. Get in there slowly. Um, hexi blocks. I mean, that's the only problem with with like the hexi blocks. Same with same with meths. I would imagine um, it's not the quickest of things. But um, you know, when you're out like this, why do you need to? Why do you need to rush? Anyway, I'll bring you back in a little while, guys. Anyway, I'm back again. Still waiting for the water to boil. It's only been about five, five minutes, I think. Ten minutes at the most. But I thought while I'm here, while we're here, I'll just pan you around and show you what um, my view from here. So just down there, there's a stream that runs through. And that's actually up a hill. And then all the way down there. And then down there. Loads of bluebells in this wood. Great. That's where I am at the moment. Um, it's not too far from home. Five minute drive, um, and then about 10, 10, 15 minute walk to here at this particular point where I am now. Um, but it's lovely. I love it here. It's very nice. I'd camp here if I could, but it's council-owned property, um, and I don't fancy getting there to bother. Um, but, uh, anyway. Right, I'll check on this water and uh, we'll see how it's going, how the first field test is going. Hey guys, still here? That's good. Right, it sounds like this is starting to boil so I'll pan you down and we'll take a look. Sounded like it. Oh, it's not yet. There's a part of my house somewhere.
Right. So while we wait for that to finish, um, maybe I'll, I'll perhaps I'll tell you a bit about myself. Um, I'm going to the top of the hill now, and uh, a few months' time I'm eating my 40th birthday. No big drama. It's another another birthday in it. Um, I was born in Lincolnshire. Well, no, actually, I was born in a, ho a hospital in Nottingham, but I'm, I'm from Lincolnshire. Um, spent all my life in Lincolnshire um, until I was about, about 20, I think it was, and then uh, I joined the army. Spent six years um, in the army in um, 23 Pioneer Regiment learning all the like the building and security side of, of stuff um, and to be a, an infantryman a, as a reserve in, infantryman um, served in a lot of places did Northern Ireland been to Germany Norway all that all those kind of places um, did Kosovo back in 90 I think it was no not 90 2000 90 was when I left school. Um, left the army. Starting to come to a boil now. Um, left the army, joined Civvy Street, um, did the obligatory um, security guard job when I left the army. Um, that was back, that, I started that back in. 2000 and I'm still working the same company now not on the security side of things um, I now work in facilities um, sorry about that aeroplane I think that'll do and then tablets are about burnt out um, yeah I work in the facilities side of things. Um, camping wise, I've been camping since I was about 15 um, with Mark um, and many others. And, um, we've been doing all sorts of things, all the, all the camping, you know, mainly ground camping. Um, another Kinko, two in one. Um, I've been with, uh, with my partner now about 13 years, met her at work, that was highlight one of, um, that's highlight one of me, of my life story. Um, highlight two happened in two thousand five when my daughter was born. Uh, it's it's an amazing, amazing feeling. Um, when, when you become a father, and a mother of course, can't leave out the, can't leave out the ladies. Um, bushcraft side of things, um, I like, I'd like to think I, I know enough to be able to survive for you. 24, 72 hours, whatever. Um, but when you see some of the other guys um, on YouTube and some of the stuff they know, you know, I sit back and think to myself, well, actually, you know, I probably don't really know that much. Um, but it's 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 learning, isn't it? Um, it's a bit of a hobby. 
Um, and then towards the end of last year, um, I started me, last Dece December I think it was, I started me YouTube. Um, no point asking why, I've got no idea. Um, I never thought, I thought, um, I knew I'd have one subscriber at least, because uh, that was Mark, because I would subscribed to his channel and he subscribed to my channel uh, years ago. Um, but 55, I mean, it's, it's not a great number and, and, and it's not about the numbers. Um, I just enjoy doing it. Um, I've learnt lots from all, from all sorts of people, you know. Um, I watch Dave Canterbury's channel a lot, Wilderness Outfitters, and that's he's got some great stuff on there. But, say, but the same again. There's guys in the UK that. Um, that are knocking out some cracking videos. I watched one of, I think it's Mike on MCQ Bushcraft, I think it is. MCQ or MQC, I think it's MCQ. Um, is wild edibles, and just I was I was just blown away by the knowledge that he's got and all the different things that are out there that that you could live on. Anyway, made the brew. I'll just show you down in the um down in the burner. I won't pick it up because it's hot. Made that mistake in the in the garden yesterday. See if I can just zoom in a bit so you can see what's left of it. Not really a lot left in it now. I only really like carbony stuff left in there. Anyway, I'm going to sit here and enjoy my brew. Let me alter the camera again. Anyway. tripod pan and tilt for you anyway the little uh, little yellow discs come up on on the display now so I've only got about five minutes left of uh, of uh, this time because I've got the the Sony handycam the one that records to the, the DVD so I get about 30 minutes um, on each recording um, yeah didn't think it was going to going to last out for this long, but there you go. So my cooker works pretty well, I think. Um, I'm going to enjoy a brew now, and uh, I'll catch you all next weekend when I'm away with Mark. And for all those that are going to the Bushcraft Show, have a great time, guys. And uh, maybe next year, um, if I'm still around doing the YouTube thing, I'll see you down there. Take care, everybody, and uh, have a good bank holiday weekend. Cheers.